If you're a fan of anime, movies, mangas, cartoons, TV shows, even some like, maybe some stuff that's not so nerdy or is nerdy, this is the nerdy spot. This is dubbed out. A One Piece fan letter, basically a fan letter to One Piece in its entirety. Uh, you got this little character that looks like Nami, a young version, and then you got the straw hats. You basically got a whole bunch of characters in the One Piece universe and just wild shit going on and the connection to those characters. And this is just kind of fun. I like this look. I love this energy. And I love the fact that this is a fan created One Piece thing. Comes out October. Let's fucking go. Some type of gaming news. Nam uh, Bandai Namco has canceled, uh, has canceled development on multiple games, including One Piece and Naruto. Okay. They are also reducing staff through a traditional Japanese pr approach. Okay. By sending workers to rooms where they are given nothing to do but put pressure on them to leave violently. <laughs> listen, listen. Bandai Namco has created tons of games. But when it comes down to a lot of the games being made, a lot of things being created, I'm going to be real with you. This shit needs to fucking go. Like some man, some... Bandai Namco games are good, some are bad. Last One Piece, last One Piece game that came out was terrible. Jujutsu Kaisen game came out was terrible. Like, you know, all they're doing is just working on Storm shit. And personally, Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 1 was my favorite game. It just had so much to do. So I personally, yeah, Nandai, ban, 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 na, ah, Bandai Namco, I don't care. Don't care. Active Pikachu sequel? I haven't watched the, the first one, but... Uh, Detective Pikachu sequel is pro is uh, reportedly titled The Great Detective Pikachu. What the fuck is all? All we got is a title. Hopefully, uh, I when I ever I watch the first one, I might be happy because I, I I love Pokemon. I do, I do. I just also love more things out of Pokemon besides the games. You know, that's kind of just who I am. But I'm happy for this. Can't wait to see the great Detective Pikachu. Let me know what you guys think. Have you seen the first movie? Are you? Do you love the first movie? Let it be heard in the comments below. John Cena, his name is John Cena. This man showed up to Kai Sinet's stream and dropped some life advice. So let's, let's tune into John Cena's advice. I used to think uh, I was put on earth to be a wrestler. Mm. That was it. I was put on earth to be a WWE superstar. And then I started doing a little bit of acting, and I'm like, oh, no, it's easy. I'm a storyteller. No, I'm a human being. Mm. I breathe in air like everybody else, and I'm mm. significantly insignificant. I'm a grain of sand on a beach in a pale blue dot out in the middle of nowhere. I just want to be useful. Mm -hmm. Life, to me, is a gift. And, dude, I have, in, in my tenure, I understand I have been given lottery ticket after lottery ticket after lottery ticket. I am lucky. I understand my luck. And I try to live each day grateful for the luck. So when the sun goes down, I look at what I did for the day, even if it's relax. Mm. Did I earn the sunset? Some days I don't, and I motivate myself to try to do it again, but most days I do. And that's my sense of purpose. So now I have what makes me happy. And I can chase those things. And that's what makes the ride super fun, man. To me. That's fire. That's old. That is fire. That is fire. I do like that idea i always think the same way did i earn my rest have i really gotten everything done that i need to get done you know what i'm saying and i love john cena's way of thinking also for him he's like i'm never having children so he's the type of guy that's like what makes me happy and things i want to do he's really taking all those in and i love this advice let me know what you think of this have you watched kai Sinet's full stream and do you want me to react to other clips let me know in the comments below here we go with tron catalyst let's get it The Arc Grid, mm. a digital sanctuary. Digital? A safe place. Okay. It was. Core won't let you escape, Exo. Core. And even if you do, nobody escapes the glitch. The glitch. I like then, that. I fight them. All right. Here. I hope there's some gameplay with this. Ah, it looks like one of those. Ah. I'm not interested. It looks it looks okay. It's just it's something I really don't want to deal with. You know what I'm saying? I wish they just made a better game. Like, come on, bro. There's so many games out there they could have really took off from for Tron. And this just ain't it. I really do think. Uh I was excited until I until I got I, I seen it. I'm like, I don't like this. 
Oh, they got the bikes? Okay, let's see how the let's see how the bikes work. Oh well, this is just a cinematic. There's no gameplay. Ooh. Mm. Tron Catalyst. Digital digitizing in 2025. All right, this is I. I just. I don't know. The gameplay just wasn't my thing. Let me know what you think in the comments below about the Neutron Catalyst. I just, I just don't, I don't know, bro. This is not it for me at all. Like, you know, not it for me, but I love Tron. It's just been a while. So let me know what you think. Some girl versus the underworld. Let's get it. <laughs> Does this outfit say I'm fun, approachable, and definitely won't set fire to you? <laughs> what? Oh, the outfit does. The desperate panic in your eyes does not. Mm. The animation looks not bad. It don't look. It don't look shitty. The, the one thing about Netflix I love is Netflix is able to take and give and create animation. <laughs> what the fuck? Fabulous, we're all dead. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Oh. This music is fucking terrible, though. That was so cool. <laughs> Keep me alive. This looks good. I I think this this looks good. I just the music is terrible, but this looks good. Bye. December. All right. I, I would actually watch this show. It looks good versus the underworld. It's giving me Buffy the Vampire Slayer vibes, but technically not Buffy the Vampire Slayer, but with more magic because Buffy needed more magic. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I fuck with it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. All right, this new cartoon just dropped on Toonami. Let's watch the trailer and to react to it. Let's get it. In a world where pro wrestling is everything. Let's wrestle. 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 Mm. I want to be just like Andy. You are an accountant. Oh. I want to be a wrestler. Hmm. What do you want? Will you train me? <laughs> no one becomes a wrestler. You either are a wrestler or you aren't. What is going on here? Who do you think you are? I'm gonna be the best. The animation reminds me of Wack Fu. And if you ever watched Wack Fu, it was one of those incredible good fucking shows. It had like three seasons. I was waiting for that fourth season. Pray to everything to make a fourth fucking season. But the animation is giving that to me. And this looks good. Little girl wants to become a wrestler and fuck being an accountant. Beautiful. Best wrestler of all time. You're a glutton for punishment. Mm. Hey! Invincible Fight Girl, two episode series premiere, Saturday, November 2nd. At Yo, shout to Invincible Fight Girl. Hold on. on Is there more? Next day on Max. It's showtime. Yo, shout out to Invincible Fight Girl. This shit looks fire. I'm happy that they're giving a new animation a chance because if not, why not new animation? You know what I'm saying? Why not something beautiful? It's got an anime aesthetic. That's beautiful. Everybody loves a cartoon with a good anime aesthetic. It's funny. It's weird. It's quirky. It reminds me of Craig of the Creek. And it's giving me Craig of the Creek vibes. But also some fighting. Let's fucking go. Let me know what you think of Invincible Fight Girl. Because I'm liking it. Yo, shout out to Invincible Fight Girl. This shit looks fire. I'm happy that they're giving a new animation a chance. Because if not, why not new animation? You know what I'm saying? Why not something beautiful? It's got an anime aesthetic. That's beautiful. Everybody loves a cartoon with a good anime aesthetic. It's funny. It's weird. It's quirky. It reminds me of Craig of the Creek. And it's giving me Craig of the Creek vibes. But also some fighting. Let's fucking go. Let me know what you think of Invincible Fight Girl. Because I'm liking it.
Thank you once again. Welcome to the channel. Check out all the trailers, all the awesome stuff. And I appreciate y'all. Let's get it. Let's get it go. It's been a good time. And you look, if you liked everything that you've watched in this video so far, make sure you like, subscribe, Bitch. hit the like button, notify. So peace and enjoy everything nerdy. And don't get mad because the real world sucks. This is where it's at. Dubbed out. Peace. Shit. Get bit on drum. Get bit on drum. Relax. You real niggas gonna stop acting like, like my shit ain't the grill. This is the last Some of you one. niggas get your front teeth for grills. And I ain't get talking about the, the contract. Green 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 ain't loving these fake hoes. Room smelling like eight switches. Room service like 2K. NBA, I'm ballin' nigga, all them niggas Fallin' like all them niggas Talkin' shit, I saw them niggas Now they daughter want a picture, rough ain't it? Fuck famous, yeah, niggas too real, yeah, got the most haters Wrote a story, so Stephen Curry How we feel to be golden